7 million to 6 million naira. They are of the view that had the road to the spare part market was motorable, fire trucks would have been able to put the fire off on time. They also called on state and federal government for assistance in Ibarra Shonawahi, NTA News. Has continued to maintain its dominance in the continent's broadcast industry as President of the Senate, Ahmad Ibrahim Lawan, inaugurates NTA Gashua Station. Yunusa Suleiman reports that at the inauguration ceremony of the digital station, the President of the Senate pledges to facilitate the procurement of two utility vehicles and an OB van for effective service delivery to the benefiting communities. With the cutting of that ribbon by the President of the Senate, Ahmed Ibrahim Lawan, flanked by the Director General of the NTA, Yaqub Ibn Muhammad, and other dignitaries, NTA Geshua is formally inaugurated to commence transmission. The inauguration of the station is a historic moment in the history of the ancient town of Geshua and the entire Yobe North Senatorial District as the station finally comes on air 21 years after the idea for its establishment was conceived. With state-of-the-art digital equipment, NTA Geshua now transmits on channel 33 UHF from the 2.5 kilowatts digital transmitter, which has the capacity to radiate signal up to 150 kilometers radius. The NTA, of course, here will provide the opportunity for the people to have their responses their reactions and their feedbacks on the various projects, the various programs of the federal government and even the state government. I stand here today and boldly call on the Yobe state government, the body local government authorities and the entire Gashua community to take possession of what rightly belongs to you take possession, protect it, and guard it jealously. The medium is expected to initiate local programs aimed at informing, educating, and entertaining hundreds of viewers within its area of coverage. The DG NTA, Yaqub Ibn Muhammad, anchors the first official live discussion program that featured President of the Senate, where issues on how the station can impact positively on the lives of people in the area took center stage. From Gashua, Yunusa Suleiman, NTA News. Christian faithful the world over mark Easter, a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the tomb after his crucifixion, Paul in Kujivana takes a look at the significance of the season in Christian Dome. Easter follows fasting and prayer using the 40-day pattern of Israel. Moses, Elijah, and Jesus' time in the wilderness. Easter is a very significant day. It is the foundation of the Christian faith, says the state chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Bishop William Mohammed Naga. It's a matter of recognition. People believe it has happened, and so it is. The celebration is just to say, people just want to make merriment that Jesus Christ rose again. But the reality is all Christianity is in this resurrection issue. Without the resurrection, there is no Christianity. The week leading to Easter is called the Holy Week, and it is characterized by various activities to include Palm Sunday, when Jesus entered Jerusalem and was celebrated, Thursday, the Last Supper, where Jesus observed Passover with his disciples, and Good Friday, when Jesus was crucified on the cross. We also as church feel the absence of the presence of Jesus and so at that moment all images all crosses are covered so the covering is to usher to put in the, that mood of understanding the absence and movement towards darkness but that darkness is not the end of story there is light at the end of everything according to Reverend Father Joseph Vature Fidelis the observance of the Easter by Christians annually is to remember the resurrection of Jesus as the way to renew their hope daily that they have gotten victory over sin in the degree, all in Kujavana, NTA News. Easter celebration is as old as Christendom marked across the globe. It is 
also a culmination of the Lent season by Christians, which generally marks the crucifixion and rise of Jesus Christ after death. With me to discuss this religious rites of great significance in Christianity is the Borno State Chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria Khan, Bishop Muhammad Naga. It's really good to have you join us on Panorama this afternoon. It's my pleasure. And compliments of the season to you, you, our you Bishop. Oh, okay, to start with now, now that Jesus died and rose according to the scripture, um, what's, how does this impact on the lives of Christians? Uh, reality, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is all Christianity is about. And without the resurrection, there is no Christianity. So Christians rally around and believe having this as common uh, cause in our life. So the Christians believe that according to the Holy Bible, all the scriptures foretell from Genesis to Revelation, particularly the four Gospels recorded the resurrection of Jesus and the entire Christendom worldwide, the past and the present believe in this. All right, that's interesting. Okay, Bishop, tell us, what does it take a Christian to live a Christ-like life? Jesus, on the cross, looked at those who crucify him. He said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Mm. So all Christians are expected to forgive, to love, and to live in peaceful life with every person. So without this, that person is considered as he is not a Christian. So Christianity, for you to be like Jesus, you have to live the life of Jesus. For the name Christian, meaning uh, people who are like Jesus. So one have to exhibit the life of Christ. Hmm. That's great. All right, so uh, is Easter celebrated across denominations, considering the interdenominational service you observe every, you know, Easter Monday? The entire Christians throughout the world believe Jesus Christ rose from the dead, and he told his disciples he will meet them on the way to Galilee. Hmm. That is the Easter. So we all believe in Easter. Though some say they call it uh, Easter retreat, some call it Easter service, Easter seminar, but all Christians believe that Christianity, uh, I mean, uh, Easter is being celebrated together in whatever form. It is not, in fact, matter of celebration, but matter that we believe he rose again. Mm. All right, uh, Bishop. Easter is being celebrated peacefully in Meduguri. Are there other activities lined up for this year's Easter celebration in Borno? We give God the glory for the peace we are experiencing in Meduguri. To some people outside the state, they see us as if we are living in hellfire or something. But we thank the governor of the state, Professor Bavagana Omar Azlum, and we thank the entire security operative and the people of Borno. We had peaceful uh, Easter celebration. And in fact, we have four designated centers where Christians will gather nearest to them in mass. Thousands of us will gather worship, praise, adore the name of the living God through Jesus Christ. So there is peace for this year's Easter as it has been before peacefully. All right. No sound from nowhere was heard. Okay. Uh, before we let you go, Bishop, let's discuss this. By commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, there are lessons for mankind of great benefit. What are those lessons? Uh, the benefit is self-sacrifice. Jesus gave himself for the entire world, to entire humanity. And we, as far as we are concerned, we're supposed to give all we have for the benefit of the entire humanity, without selfishness, without you accumulating things for yourself, in respect of tribe, region, or whatsoever nomenclature attached to where you belong. All we need is that let us keep humanity together, keep our life together, and believe that our country, Nigeria, will be greater than our imagination. For that's what Jesus believed. By those who believe in him, and trust in him, we will not perish. So people are perishing. If we come together, we can stop it by the help of God. Mm. Um, at this juncture, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for being part of Panorama this afternoon. Uh, Bishop Williams Mohamed Naga, 
Chairman, Christian Association of, of Nigeria, Borno State, there for us. Compliments of the season to you once yeah, again, and you enjoy the rest of the festivity. You. Thank you. Let's move on now. Borno State government, in its continued effort to bring succor to the citizenry, especially during festivities, has presented food items to Christian widows in MMC and Jerry to celebrate Easter with ease. Yagum Subukar has more details. It has been the tradition of the Zulum led administration to always lend a hand of support to the people, especially during festivities. Apart from the usual Christmas gift, Borno State government equally considers its benevolence to the Christian communities even at Easter celebrations. This time around, 50 bags of rice, 50 cartons each of macaroni and spaghetti, 10 cartons of seasoning, as well as 30 jerry cans of cooking oil were presented to the widows in MMC and Jerry for onward distribution. We want to express our profound gratitude to His Excellency for this magnanimity, uh, remembering Christendom during festivities like this. We thank Him very much and we pray the Almighty God will continue to protect Him, to guide Him, in all his undertakings. Contributing SSA to the governor on publicity, Larry Obadia, while appreciating Governor Zim for his magnanimity, urged the widows to continuously pray for total restoration of peace to the state. Chairperson Christian Widows Association, but no state, Asabella Dogu, prayed for upon the governor for always identifying with them in their hour of need. In Meiduguri, Yagum Subuka, NTA News. Panorama on the largest television network in Africa, the NTA. Let's take a break now. We have more reports for you shortly. The vaccine offers hope for a safe country free of coronavirus. I urge all state governments, traditional and religious leaders, to take the lead in the mobilization effort within their environment and spheres of influence. I similarly urge all eligible Nigerians to present themselves and be vaccinated in accordance with the order of priority already mapped out at the various authorized designated centers only. process of administering roughly 4 million doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, beginning with frontline health workers and vulnerable individuals with no change to current plans or supply. In a statement by Head of Public Relations Unit of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Mohamed Ohi Tutu, a large number of countries around the world are administering the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, including much of Europe and United Kingdom, which have administered the most doses globally. The World Health Organization, British and European health regulators all continue to advocate for the use of AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca's strong effectiveness against COVID-19 has been demonstrated in clinical and human trials, which has shown to be 76% effective at preventing COVID-19 and 100% effective at preventing severe disease and hospitalization. Nigeria's health authorities followed closely recent pronouncements from Europe's regulator, the EMA, which stated that there is no evidence to support restricting the use of the vaccine in any population. The National Primary Healthcare Development Agency says it is confident in AstraZeneca's ability to save lives. Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has confirmed 50 new cases of COVID-19 in the country. A breakdown indicates that Lagos has 27. 27 new cases, while Plateau has 11. Baelsa recorded seven new cases, while Gombe has three, with Nasarawa and Ekiti states each having one. The total number of confirmed cases now stands at 163,113. Discharged number is 151,853, with total deaths now 
2058. And still on COVID-19, more than 26,000 persons have been vaccinated against COVID-19 in Borno State under the first phase, which commenced in March and covered most local government areas in the state. Let's now join Mohammed Ibrahim for an update on COVID-19 vaccination. Borno State Government received 75,510 doses of COVID-19 vaccine from the federal government under the first phase for health personnel and frontline workers. Baba Gana Abiso is the Director of Disease Control of the Borno State Primary Healthcare Development Agency and Chairman, State Committee on Advocacy and Social Mobilization on COVID-19. What is the level of uh, progress achieved so far uh, in the COVID-19 vaccination? Thank you very much. As you know, the vaccination has commenced uh, about 10 days ago and uh, we were able to vaccinate all the uh, frontline health workers and frontline workers and also um, uh, strategic uh, leaders in the state. So far we have vaccinated about uh, 26,780 persons and uh, you know some LGS are hard to reach so we could not receive their data until um, we finish compiling all the data will give you the accurate uh, update. Okay, can you give us an insight into the level of acceptance from the public and then plans for the next phase of vaccination? Uh, thank you very much. Actually, initially there was uh, resistance from uh, the healthcare workers, but uh, with uh, strength mobilization and uh, communication, we were able to uh, 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 make them understand the importance of uh, this vaccine. So, so far the turnout is very impressive and uh, we'll reach the target at the end. Any other message for the people? Well, the other major message is uh, those that have received their first dose, uh, the second dose is uh, expected to be due uh, between 8 weeks to 12 weeks. So therefore, um, once it is uh, 4 weeks from the last uh, person that received the vaccine, we will now come and give uh, the, the second dose. So therefore, please, uh, as soon as it is uh, uh, due, let them come out and receive the second dose. Thank you for the update, uh, Director. Uh, the next phase of the vaccination depends on communication from the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. It's back to the studios. Mohamed Ibrahim there for us. Thank you. And sports is next on Panorama. All is now set for today's kickoff of sporting events in Edo 2020 National Sports Festival. Let's now join Peter Onyubo for more details of this. Boxers are among other contingents who have arrived beneath city at the state capital for the National Sport Festival. They are currently camping at the Games Village awaiting the kickoff of the competition. NTA Sports Camera Lens also captured this training section of swimmers and other games at the indoor sport hall of the Ogbemudia Stadium. <laughs> For these athletes and coaches, the mood is high, ready to go for good and not to settle for anything less in the tournament. I've been putting all my best and I know it's going to be a success and I thank God for the life and for the everything happening now. The Sports Festival is real. It has commenced now. We're actually expecting to do very well at the Games. We don't really have injury worries for now and we are good to go. The festival will however begin on Sunday with boxing, football, cycling, cricket and other games. In Benin, Peter Oibo, NTA News. On Roma, thank you for sharing your time. And just before we leave you, do remember to be a star. Join NTA and stand against rape and rapists. From all of us here is to enjoy the rest of the Easter celebration.